Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly trim audio in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here where all the tracks are recorded from beginning to end. And I want to edit them to take out some noise or hiss or any silent moments that I don't want to hear in my finished product. Now I should mention we could do this automatically using dynamic split. If we go to the view menu, we can go to dynamic split and set this up to do it automatically. But there's still times where you want to do it manually. And that's what I'm going to show you in this video, how to do it quickly. So let's start off with my drum tracks. Let's zoom in and notice the drums don't come in to right over here. So I'm going to want to select all the audio and trim it to this point. But I can't use the trim tool because I'm too zoomed in. I have to zoom out first and then grab it to the left and drag it over. Or what I could do is zoom in closely, put my cursor right here, hit S to split it, then select this over here and delete that. That's a bit too slow. So let's undo that. And instead, let's go to the action list. Right here, show action list. And let's type in trim. And there's an action over here trim left edge of item to edit cursor. And we can see there's no keystroke assigned to this action. So we could assign one or just double click it and it trims the audio to our edit cursor. But there's still a quicker way. And it requires using custom actions. So let's zoom back out. And let's go down to our vocal. Let's make it nice and big. Let's say we wanted to trim our vocal to get rid of the spaces or breaths or any moments where the singer's not singing. We could do this a lot quicker with custom actions. So let's go back to the action list, go to custom actions, and type in trim in our filter. And over here, is the action I showed you before. Trim left edge of item to edit cursor. But there's one thing I don't like about this. It requires that we first select the item, and we also move the edit cursor to the spot we want to trim to before we perform this action. We can make this quicker by skipping that step. So instead, let's choose this option here. Trim left edge of item under mouse to edit cursor. This way, we don't have to select the item first, but we still need to move the edit cursor to where our mouse is, which we're going to do in the next step. So let's drag this over. Let's type in over here, move edit cursor to mouse cursor. And then if we scroll to the bottom, there's an action right here that's going to move the edit cursor to where our mouse is placed. Let's put it before this one. So now it's going to happen when we perform this function or custom action. It's going to move the edit cursor to the mouse cursor, and then it's going to trim to the left edge. Let's give it a name, trim to start, save it, and it shows up right here. Let's give it a keyboard shortcut right here, and you can use any keystroke that you want. Personally, I don't use my arrows very much, so I'm going to use left arrow to trigger this, which is already being used for something else, but I'm going to override it. So now if we close this, I could just put my mouse right over here without selecting it or moving the edit cursor to that spot, hit the left arrow, and it trims the left side to that spot. But as we move along, the next thing we have to do is split right here. So I have to select the item and move the cursor here, then hit S. Once again, that's too many steps. So instead, Let's go back to the action list, type in split. And right over here is the default action for splitting, which is assigned to the S key. But once again, I don't want to have to select the item and move the edit cursor. So instead, I could choose the option here, split item under mouse cursor. And I'm going to assign a different keyboard shortcut to this instead of S. I'm going to use the down arrow. Because once again, I don't use it. 
but you can use any keystroke that you prefer. So I can close this, and if this is not selected, I can just move the mouse cursor to the spot, hit the down arrow, and it splits right there. Then I can go over here, hit the left arrow, and it trims the audio to the left side. So I can just go through very quickly, down arrow, left arrow, and trim the audio for this track. Finding all the spaces where there's noise, or anything we don't want to hear in our final product. Now we need one more custom action to complete this. Because if we go to the end, right here, we want the same behavior for the right edge. So let's go to our actions. Here's one we created before. Let's duplicate it or copy it. Open the copy up. We can get rid of trim left edge and replace it with trim right edge. Right over here. And again, we want to choose the option trim right edge of item under mouse to edit cursor. Not this one. So let's drag this over. After this one, let's rename it trim to end. And we'll assign this the right arrow. Once again, you can use any keystroke that you prefer. I just find using the arrows a lot quicker because they're next to each other. And I don't use them. So now I could put my mouse on the right side, hit the right arrow, and it trims right there. So very quickly, I can go through the whole song, trimming my audio with these three keystrokes. Down arrow, left arrow, and the right arrow at the end. Now the one downfall of this trick is it doesn't work for multiple tracks because it only works on the item that your mouse is over. So if we go back to the drums, we're gonna have to do each one separately, but it's still a lot quicker doing it that way. Or we could group them first. Just select them all, hit G, so they're grouped, and now we can use this action in one step. Go to this section over here where the drums don't play. Hit the down arrow to split them, and it splits it all with one keystroke. Go over here, hit the left arrow, and we can cut it up that easily. And we're done at the end. Hit the right arrow to cut the right side of our items. So, as you can see, it's a lot quicker to do it this way. Throw our tracks, the bass, guitars, keyboards. Just get rid of all the space that we don't need. Back to my vocal. It's a lot quicker and a little more accurate to do it with our custom actions. So that's pretty much it. That's trimming audio very quickly in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.